In the hands of criminals tonight after a gun store smash and grab in Parker. The concern now is how often thieves are targeting gun stores right here in Colorado. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen found even police are surprised how easy this was for the bad guys. They've already replaced the glass here tonight at Pony Express Firearms, but police say overnight these bad guys broke the glass, reached through these bars, and got two AK-47s, an AR-15, and a shotgun. Tonight, gun dealers we talked to are paying attention. At Centennial Gun Club, their aim is safety. So when the store closes for the night... They lower the steel doors. Guns are cabled. Cases are closed. We try to make this place like Fort Knox at night, but that doesn't mean somebody can't get in here. General Manager Dick Abramson knows gun store thefts are surging in Colorado. This summer, 60 firearms stolen from two Littleton stores. In all, the ATF reports 120 guns stolen from Denver Metro gun dealers so far this year, not including this recent Parker smash and grab that police say was too easy. The security measures, yes, there's bars on the window, but uh, to be able to just reach in and grab these and, and take them in, a, in such a quick time, that's concerning as well. But we found there are no federal regulations for gun shop security. The ATF only has recommendations like lock display cases, secure firearms when the store is closed, and pull down gates. Should there be regulations for gun dealer security? I don't think so because every store is so different. One size fits all just, just isn't going to work. Centennial Gun Club upgraded its security systems a few years ago after 14 guns were stolen. A crime at the top of mind for the entire industry trying to make sure the weapons they sell don't end up in the wrong hands. The ATF says nationally more than 6,000 firearms were reported stolen from gun dealers last year, and that is up 7% from the year before. In Parker, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.